Hi all, Elsa here with just a few designs. Happy New Year 2019. I'm hoping that I'm a lot more crafty this year. Last year I had a whole bunch of bumps in the road that prevented me from it, so here's hoping that this year is better. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of these jewelry findings that I got from BB's Crafts and try to embellish this, this journal at Hobby Lobby just for my doodles because all my other ones are full but I wanted to put something on the cover of it and I want to see how this turns out I will be using E6000 glue which is the best glue out there to attach metal to other surfaces that's what I'm going to use and I will be using these ink alcohol inks these are Tim Holtz and this is the wild plum lettuce and the eggplant. I'm just gonna dye these because look, that's the brass one and I used, used the uh, wild plum on that. And it gives it a really cool reddish shade that looked really good on the black background. So I'm just gonna take all the findings that are the same shape, color them one color, and move throughout like that. I have four different styles of findings. This one's really pretty, it has the flowers on it. These are usually used to do earrings. You can hang little beads from here, but I don't do a lot of jewelry, so no jewelry for me, but this is what I'll be making. The next one that I'm using is this one and then this shape and these are all earring bases for you to make some earrings so I'm gonna be coloring them like I said with alcohol inks then I'm gonna be attaching them to the book and see what I can come up with I just went ahead and got some different uh, flat back uh, rhinestones whatever these are clear beads I get these at Mm, Hobby Lobby and it's a great big jar and they all come in different sizes and uh, this is a candle jar that I really liked so I kept it and that's where I keep my beads so okay so I'm gonna try to speed it up just a little bit so that you see what I'm doing and let's see what we can come up with right
So now that it's not dry yet, it does take at least 24 hours to cure. But now all the little, all the little holes right here where the ear part, the earring part would go, I'm gonna fill in with some stickles. Oh my, this looks so good in person. I don't know if the camera is picking up all the sparkle and the shine from the stickles, but it just finished it off so nicely. You see that? Anyway. This is my project for BB Crafts. I hope you all enjoy it and I will be dueling in my new book soon and I will be showing that to you guys, hopefully, as soon as I get started. So, and you know, I mean, you can just keep adding to this, which you think I'm gonna do after I close the cameras and just cover everything. Nah, I think I'm done. Thank you so much for watching, ladies. I appreciate it and I'll catch you on the next one. Good night.